This video shows how to adjust the brush neutral position of a DC machine to prevent sparking at the brushes at full load. An accurate neutral setting promotes good commutation and efficient machine operation. It also minimizes commutator wear while maximizing brush life. For this video, we're using the AC method of setting brush neutral. As always, follow your organization's safety practices and procedures. To set brush neutral on a shunt wound DC motor, You'll need a digital AC voltmeter, an extension cord fitted with alligator clips, some basic hand tools, a small piece of micarta or wood, and you may also need an eighth inch thick piece of micarta or Teflon to measure the height of the brush holders. By applying 120 to 240 volts single phase AC to the shunt fields, we can use the shunt fields in the armature as a variable output transformer to find the optimum brush holder neutral position that induces zero or the least voltage into the rotating armature coils. For ideal commutation, the brushes should short the armature leads at the lowest possible induced voltage. This procedure follows the basic transform principles so it doesn't cover compound wound fields. Those machines will have S leads as well as A and F leads. Ideally, brush neutral is the position where the voltage induced in the rotating armature coils is zero. In practice, a brush position that induces less than 10 millivolts qualifies as brush neutral. Setting the brush neutral position accurately can improve commutation and eliminate sparking at full load. It also protects the commutator surface and extends the brush light. Before proceeding, make sure the bottoms of the brush holders are at a uniform height of 1 8 of an inch to 3 16 of an inch, or approximately 3 to 5 millimeters above the commutator. Also make sure that the brushes are 100% seated to the commutator with no shiny spots. If the brushes aren't fully seated, the brush contact area will gradually shift away from the neutral position as the brushes wear in, causing sparking and possibly commutator damage. Connect 120 to 240 volts single phase AC power supply to the field leads with alligator clips of a modified extension cord. Now connect the voltmeter leads to the field leads where the alligator clips are. And plug in the cord to energize the fields with AC voltage. Measure the applied voltage with the digital voltmeter to verify that the voltmeter is working correctly. Next, connect the voltmeter leads to the adjacent brush posts. If the meter is not auto-ranging, set it to read less than 3 volts. Observe the AC voltage measured by the voltmeter. Loosen the fasteners that hold the brush holder assembly in place. And then shift the assembly in either direction while observing the voltmeter reading. If the measured voltage increases, shift the assembly in the opposite direction. If the brush holder is difficult to move, tap it in the desired direction with a mallet and a length of micarta or wood, be sure to tap on a solid part of the assembly, like the base of a post. Shift the assembly to obtain as close to zero volts as possible. You should be able to adjust to less than 10 millivolts. If you can't adjust it to less than 10 millivolts, make sure that the brushes are fully seated and evenly spaced within 364 or 1.2 millimeters around the circumference of the commutator. If the brushes are fully seated and evenly spaced, they could be on a false neutral. To check for a false neutral, try shifting the brush holder assembly several inches in each direction to locate the actual neutral position. Leaving the fields energized and the voltmeter leads connected, carefully tighten the brush holder fasteners. Cross tightening the fasteners evenly allows you to maintain the lowest possible voltage. After tightening the fasteners, verify that the brush neutral setting is in a satisfactory location and then turn off the power to the fields. Troubleshooting tips. If you can't adjust the brush neutral position to less than 10 millivolts, here are a few other things that you might try. Check the brush spacing to make sure it's even within 3 64ths of an inch or 1.2 millimeters across the circumference of the commutator. Verify that all fields are in the circuit. Confirm that the fields are of an alternate polarity. 
For example, north, south, north, south. And make sure an equalizing jumper connects the brush post of the same polarity. Additionally, if the inner poles are connected in more than one circuit, equalizers can provide consistent results by connecting the brush posts of the same polarity. Otherwise, the measured voltage for a common four pole DC machine with four inner poles connected in a series parallel connection might differ between posts one and two and between posts one and four. Accurate adjustment of the brush neutral position of a DC machine is an important step that ensures efficient operation and maximizes the life of the commutator and the brushes. Thank you.